Hi, I'm Bartek Dynowski. I'm the Vice Director of the Conservation of Sculpture and Optics Studio. And we are using laser ablation to clean the obelisk. And basically what that means is we're using a very specific laser light which is calibrated to remove uh, the layers of pollution and grime that have accumulated on the stone. A uh, simple way of explaining that is, for example, a white car and a black car in the sun. The black car will get hot faster than the white car. So the infrared light that we're using is actually absorbing into the black layer of the soot on the stone and not uh, into the stone itself. So what that means is that laser light, which is 1064 nanometers, uh, absorbs into the soot layer and excites those atoms. They expand very quickly. Uh, from the energy that they're absorbing. It's kind of like uh, inflating a beach ball at the speed of an airbag. It just pops off. So on a molecular level, we're destroying the soot. It's being vaporized or bladed. And then once the laser continues to work and it hits the white surface behind it, uh, it reflects off of it. So in many ways, it becomes a self-limiting process. And the laser is only calibrated to clean and to remove the dark soot without damaging the stone. And we can control that by the parameters of the laser that we choose, such as fluence, energy density, pulse duration, uh, spot size, and a bunch of different other settings. Now, the reason why we're using lasers versus other techniques is because there is no other technique in the world that offers the same amount of precision. Uh, we're using different kinds of scanning systems, including one that uh, I built myself specifically for this project. And, uh, the technique is working very well, and we're able to get into all the crevices of the stone, all of the hieroglyphs, and clean every detail. And the goal essentially is to remove the black streaking and all of the soot deposits so that the legibility of the monument will dramatically improve. Uh, right now, it's kind of camouflaged by these black stripes and the soot deposits. Once we remove the soot deposits from the surface and uncover the original stone surface that's underneath, then the readability of the monument will drastically improve. 